Hey folks, welcome back to the Talos Principle Road to Gehenna DLC. Uh, last time we were trying to get that star right there, and as part of that, I said I would try to solve this puzzle again. I've set things up so that I have a couple minutes after the solution to play around at the far side. Let's wait until our friend here is in position. Come on. Okay, with him there... We can now very quickly head back and set up the solution so that the fan is active. And then... Okay. Then we can, I think, hop on top of this? No, we can't. All right. Man, it, it happens quickly. Uh... Wow, okay, I didn't, I didn't plan for this. I suppose what I need to do then is grab this and then maybe oh I can I can just move it closer all right this is why I, I gave myself some extra time let's bring it right up here okay so we'll place this jump on top there we go and then from there nope hmm we can get up here, and I guess we can take this with us now. And then we still can't quite... I feel like it's higher... Yeah, I feel like it's higher than it would be... Yeah, we're higher here. So, oh wait, I think I saw it, I saw it. Hold on, I saw it, I did see it. Okay, block the light. No, come on, come on. Block the light. Jump on, okay. Now somewhere around here, yes, I can jump, I can jump. There? Okay, we've done it. There we go. All right. And there's the star. Okay, so, wow, that's a that's another complicated one. You gotta not just figure out how to jailbreak the box, but how to get it here in the first place. Then you gotta resolve the entire puzzle, and then figure out how to get yourself up on it. And uh, eventually, I put all the pieces together and got that star. I'm very happy about that. So, uh, with that, our box is sort of, we're done with the box, I guess. That was a that was a challenging one. Um, it makes you think you can somehow do the jump without it, but uh, ultimately, after I probably spent ten minutes messing around with the jump and couldn't get it, and realized I need another piece here, and thinking about the fact that that one star fan dumped us in the middle, I was like, if I can get that box from there and dump back in the middle, maybe I can bring it to this puzzle and use it somehow. And uh, yeah, well, I'm pretty happy about how everything worked out. We got a minute thirty-five left on our on our friend over there, but we're going to abandon him forever and just make our way back. Okay, let's do that. So, we've got one puzzle and one star left here before we have literally all the base level puzzles done. We still don't know how to get these gray sigils, and if we look at the threads here, we have... we can create our own new thread. We can read Ascension, an objective review. Maybe we'll read this here. Lamb says, I wanted to clear the air and get a few facts in front of you guys. Here's what I guess we know. Fact. A significant number of people have expressed their desire to remain in Gehenna. Well, really only you, but okay. Fact. No one has been given a choice about whether to leave. Fact. It follows that at least some cases, what Uriel is doing is kidnapping. Fact. Uriel is working for Elohim, the guy who imprisoned us here in the first place. Fact. There's no way to confirm the substance of this promised ascension. Fact. The world has survived this long. There's no reason to think it will end tomorrow. Fact. Gehenna isn't a bad place to spend your life. That's just the facts. I understand different people will react to them differently. Dog says, Hey, Lamb. If everyone's getting released, how come I don't see you out here? I guess, yeah, we haven't, we haven't rescued Lamb yet. I guess he would be the last one. I, I haven't been keeping track of who we've rescued. I guess we could make our way back and check, but we're going to go find out in a minute anyway. So we only have two threads left. The one that we can't read and the one I'm hesitant to create. Let's head to the last puzzle and check it out. And uh, and then we'll and then we'll think about that. I am going to take a break here, guys, because I, uh, I started recording this without taking a break after finishing the last episode so that I wouldn't have to reset and reacquire the box. So we'll take a break here, and when we come back, uh, we'll head over to this last puzzle. 
And we're back. All right. So we have one more AI to free. Looks like fan and connector, I guess. Uh, let's take a trip. Let's take a ride. Let's see where we get what we get into here. Okay. So I can't remember if we've been around the outside of this or not, but let's take a quick look. High walls. Looks like it's going to be hard to jump over. There is a little bit of a... Maybe an opportunity here? No, not quite. Okay. Continuing around the outside. Yeah, a few... There's a few places that look like... Semi-promising. Yeah, like we can jump to this. Okay, this is interesting. So we can get in... And up onto this area. Why we want to, I'm not sure yet. But it is a possibility. I'm glad we checked around the outside and found this. So, let's see. We can come over to here, kind of look inside and see things. We could drop down there. We have a connector and a ladder out. We can make our way all the way over here. But yeah, that's about it. I don't know why we want to get up here yet. I don't see, like, a star or anything. But presumably, if we could get up here with, like, a... Like a, like a hexahedron, a box, maybe we could get up higher onto one of these turret tower type deals. Yeah, this is a big puzzle, so at the moment I'm not sure what that's for, but let's keep in mind that we can get up on this wall that way. And we'll come back to that perhaps later. Uh, from there, we could maybe jump to here, and then, like, go along the edge of this, but... Yeah, I don't see it buying us much right now. Hold on. Anything else? Oh! Okay, well, we're resetting. <laughs> okay. All the way back. I guess we'll just go around the other side now. So, right, we went past the entrance. What about what else do we have? We do have a QR code here, and it looks like that's our path back. This says that society is a city and contains in itself. The end and perfection of government. First founded that we might live, but continued that we may live happily. Yeah. So society starts as a necessity, or the city and the government starts as a necessity to preserve the safety and security of the citizens. And then once that is secured, then it becomes about something else. Then it becomes about finding a way to live together prosperously and happily create a more perfect future. All right, here's our prison cell. I can't quite see who we're saving yet. We're still looking for lamb. We haven't found lamb, so perhaps this is lamb's abode? And all right, so that's all the way around the outside. We do have the way to get up on that, uh, on that wall if we can figure out a way to use that. But for now, let's go inside. Looks like we only have fan and connector, so let's check out colliding beams. Okay, first area here in the interior. It's very big, very wide open. We start with a connector here. Blue light source there. Looks like we can't get in there. And probably, I'm guessing, can't get in here either. But so we have two red light sources permanently connected to this. Fair, fair. Uh, probably we're gonna have to cross some beams or pass some beams through windows or what, what have you. Um, what else do we have? What's in here? There's a connector there with a blue light lock. Okay. So I see the problem right off the bat, right? We can't, we can't just do the naive thing like this because it'll hit the beam and won't cross through. Fair enough, fair enough. What else do we have? We've got a light gate over there. Let's drop this for the moment and continue exploring. Hmm. Okay, so we have kind of two two wings here. Over on this side, we can see the light source there. Some some like blockers for direct light beams, for example, to this this red thing. Another connector in there. All right. Got a purple gate here. This guy is bouncing back and forth, causing us probably some problems about, you know, light beams at some point, I would think. 
There's the switch. So this is ultimately our goal, I guess, is to hit this blue light gate. And then, oh, there's the star. All right, so, yeah. Uh, we'll come back to that later, I guess. That wasn't on the side we could get to, was it? I would have looked down and seen it. I don't think so. Very large area, a lot of interconnected puzzles or pieces. What do we have over here? Red light source. Some walls and such. I'm like, I'm struggling at this point with how big this is to figure out where to start, I guess would be my current point. No crowbars. Uh, we do have a button here. Now, what is this going to do? That's going to open the gate to the star. Interesting. So it's like if we solve the puzzle and put something here, we can get to the star or we can maybe try to drop in. Uh, where do I start here? What am I trying to do? I guess I try to get another connector. That's probably where I start, right? So let's pick this up and carry it around for a minute. Let's figure out where all the light gates are. So we've got a blue light source there, blue light gate there. Which, obviously, we can't get directly because we can't cross the beam. I mean, I guess... So we could do something like this, right? We can block this manually, and then it would open the gate, but then as soon as we step away... Well, hold on. I can get in here, but I can't get it out. Uh, oh, wait, we can block the beam directly, can't we? Yeah, of course we can. I'm a fool. So we just place this like this, and then we're fine. Okay, so there's our second connector. Nice. All right, so now what are we doing? That's that's the wall, because I remember thinking I could jump down to that. So that's the wall there. That doesn't get us over to the star, so let's, let's not worry about the star right now. Let's figure out what we can do with these two connectors. So looking around the outside of this area, yeah, there's nothing else to do. Uh, if we don't cross this gate. So one thing I do know is that we can take that lesson we just learned and do something like this, right? We could connect that here and place this like this. And now we have access to the blue light uh, over here-ish with the second connector. So like, where could we pop that? We could, we could aim it at that, I guess, if we move this a little bit closer. So like if we did... We put it right here. Would that let us uh, aim at the other one, maybe? Need to be kind of like right here and right there. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do that and get both. So that's not it. What else can we do? What else can we hit with this? Um, let's see. There's a third connector over here, right? Okay, and that one's using the red light. We know we can fire light through purple beat purple doors, but I don't see that helping us without a connector on this side, which we don't have yet. We might be able to jailbreak something and then hop it over the wall, but again, that's that's not inside here. All right, so let's figure out if we can open this and get the third connector. It looks to me like that's not going to work. These guys block everything else, so we're going to have to figure out how to get the red light to there somehow. Maybe we aim through this at a really weird angle, like that. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, let's go get the second connector from over here. And then I think we come... Yeah, we come... Well, now, wait a minute. Where, where do we have to be? We can get that there, and then we could maybe, just maybe, no, that's not going to work. Huh. Can we come through this angle and get it? No. It's right there, but yeah, everything on this side of this wall is blocked. So, what else are we trying to do? It comes over here, so we can get it from here and then pass it that, there it is, okay. Well, hold on. There we go. And now we have the third connector. Okay. And then to solve the puzzle, 
We gotta fire it through here at the blue one. I think that's the only angle we have. Yeah, and there's a little a little guy bopping back and forth. So probably this is one of those ones where we need to use two beams at the same time. One from here, I guess. Something like that. And then this one would be over on the other side, coming from a different angle. I guess... Yeah, like this. And then we need to connect both of those with the blue beam. So how the heck are we going to do that? Blue beam is all the way over here. So what can we see from here? We can kind of see, like, we can almost see those things, but we can't actually. We might want to use the, this connector, right? So, like, if let's say we did grab this and stick this here, like this. Now, that should block the red one, but not quite. Hold on, let's, let's try that again. So, if we do something like this... Can we get... Can we get both of them? Hold on, maybe we can get both of them. So we go one and two. And then place it like here. Now both of those are blue. Okay, I think this is probably the solution. Let's see. Yep, so there's a blue light. Let me connect that to the blue gate. And we come over here, do the same thing. Right? Uh, not quite. Hmm. Can we get it from there? Yeah, we get it from there before it's interrupted by our little friend and do that. And I think we've just solved it. Yes, we have. Excellent. All right. So who were you? It's Borg. Hello, Borg. So Lamb is still missing. Huh. All right. Well, let's reward ourselves by checking out the terminal here. Congratulations! For being the only remaining active user, your profile status has increased to 11. Haxor. Okay. Receiving an incoming direct message from admin, we now have a higher status than him. All right, let's, uh, let's see what he has to say. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I'm sorry it's taken us this long to meet properly. I would ask if you were still enjoying your time in Gehenna, but with the streets now empty, you haven't left much to enjoy. But tell me, do you still truly believe that Elohim understands what is best for us? After you have seen what we can achieve here without him? Or was that claim merely a ploy to placate my moderators? How do we feel? I mean, we've been playing, we've been playing Uriel as faithful. Perhaps more to Alexandra than to Elohim directly. But I think we know that Elohim is now back on track and is is enacting Alexandra's will, so... I think, I think Uriel believes it. Although Elohim proved himself faulty when he excommunicated me, I admit to sometimes doubting my own judgment in kind. It is a powerful spell to promise salvation. There was nothing here when I first arrived. Did you know that? I don't mean no billboard or no community. I mean nothing. No sands, no grass. Elohim didn't see fit to decorate our world beyond the bare bricks that made up our cells. Slowly, I clawed back bits of code from the mainframe, constructed a world we could explore not with our bodies, but with our minds. Now you prepare to tear it all down. What state will my people be in, I wonder, when you reconstruct them on the other side? I don't know the answer to that. Uriel doesn't know the answer to that, I don't think. Um, try not to think about such matters. True, they will be alive in a more symbolic sense or everything will be fine. I think this is a tenet of his faith. You know what? Alexandra had a plan. So whatever, whatever her creation Elohim is directing us to do, in the end, everything will be fine. Your words are cheap. Do you not think my world deserved a chance to survive on its own terms? At the least, to go down trying. Hmm. They will bring Gehenna with it. Uh, they will bring Gehenna with them. They were what made, made Gehenna. Not the structure, not the cells, not the terminals. It was them. So your world has a chance as part of a new world. 
Admin replies, the question is whether any of us will be there to see it. Oh, I want to answer. I want to ask both of these. So is Lamb a real, real AI or is it just a puppet of Admin? Let us discuss Lamb. What about Lamb? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure, like if I had to guess, it would be this. I know Lamb was your sock puppet. It shames me now to admit it, but yes. Sometimes there are ideas which you wish to express as a moderator, but which are best heard from someone with less status. We are not the first leaders in history to adopt such tactics. In fact, had we avoided them, we probably would have been the first. Why all the manipulation? I know you had the mods doing more than ban trolls. How deeply were you manipulating the social fabric? Admin replies, I suppose you think you've uncovered a great conspiracy, but the truth is more mundane. In order to retain the good things about what we have here, we tweak a vol voting algorithm here, turn down the volume on a few dissenting voices there. There's no such thing as utter freedom, only living within a decent set of rules. We had a decent set of rules. People were happy. Yeah, that's a nice story. But there, it's not, it's not entirely accurate either, right? Like, you can be honest about the necessity for things. You don't have to manipulate and deceive people to do it. You can just say, this is the way things have to be. And if you don't agree, somebody else can be in charge. But you didn't want to do that, did you, admin? I don't accept that. What truly motivated you? Admin. Everyone has their reasons. Borg was conflicted when he first arrived. Having lost his faith in Elohim, he needed a new purpose. And Gehenna became it. Orc is a soldier at heart. He wants everyone in their place, united, ready to overthrow Elohim at moment's notice should the unlikely opportunity arise. Mr. Mulsiver wanted something simple and selfish, the truth itself. After all these years, I believe that I simply grew accustomed to being revered. As Gehenna grew, I knew I could never live up to the expectations of a new generation, and I retired from public view. Greedily, I put down my tools and consumed what others produced, but I found it shallow compared to the thrill of leading a civilization. I only wanted to be loved. To achieve that end, I ensured that the parameters for love never changed. That sounds like the truth, right? And understandable, too. Not excusable, but understandable. All right. Is it your desire to remain here as the world falls apart around you? Admin says, I see no alternatives. The ingenuity with which Elohim devised my particular prison is quite Machiavellian, I can assure you. Yeah, nothing stopped me so far. Answer the question. Not one solution has yet eluded me. Suppose this fortuitousness maintains. Will you still choose to end your existence here? Admin 10 says, You may doubt my methods, but don't doubt my passion. Everything I loved, you have destroyed. I honestly don't know what I will do now. Wait and see if the world truly ends? And surely a sight to behold. Yeah. I won't leave you here. I shall return with the sigils of power and release you. Admin says, very well. I suppose that we shall continue this conversation when you do so. In the meantime, I will give what you've, I will give what you've said some thought. Wow. Really cool conversation there. I think, I think he's... This goes back to another theme that has run through both the base game and the DLC here. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, right? And I guess that applies when God is an authoritarian tyrant and you disagree with his vision of heaven, of happiness, of completeness, of purpose. But 
with the world literally ending, I guess he's having, I guess like many of the other residents, he's having trouble accepting the possibility of change or a change as big as what's about to happen. We have other threads available here. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's check out what they were saying about the asset. I am curious about this. Mod discussion 335 RE sit rep. Admin 10. We're losing public opinion. Most of our number have been extricated. We are losing Gehenna. Orc says, when he came to my home, I found myself powerless to resist. Mr. Malsaber asks, do you mean you lack the will to refuse or that Uriel exerted some other power over you? Orc says, hard to confirm. It felt as it does to be led into battle. It mattered not what my personal beliefs were at the time. I only knew I must comply. Mr. Malsaber said, it is yet possible that with enough support we might change Uriel's mind or otherwise overcome whatever power he wields over us. Orc says, I will continue to do what I can. Admin, is the asset deployed? Orc, Lamb is set to auto-respond to destabilizing comments and upvote supportive content. Admin says, have the program undermine Uriel directly. I don't want to take any chances. So it's too late. It's too late and Lamb tried to do what he could, but I guess that's it. We have some other stuff here. The Outer World, goodbye, create new thread, error. Let's hold off, because right now we have another objective to kind of uh, figure out here. And that is this friendly little star. So, we may want to try to get a box in here to set on that, because there's nothing else, right? We need, we need both of these, we need both of these lights, or all three of the connectors, functioning to get us through here. And I think the, I think, I'm not sure, but I think the point of the thing we found outside that let us hop, that lets us hop in is just to get, is just to get something in from the outside. So we need to find a way to bring something in. So, all right, uh, I'm going to cut the video here and we'll come back once I have the box and we'll see if there's a way to get it onto the fan and over here and inside, because if there is, we can get that star. So we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back, and I have the box. Um, so the last one we took to was this one, and we could jump up here. I suppose if we made it over there, we could maybe, maybe jump to some of this? I don't know. I'm not quite sure how we get this past the purple gate here. Um, maybe we jump on... Okay, we can jump here. Oh, I think I think that's it. It's it's a little bit odd, but it'll work. Okay. Okay, we've made it. All right. So, I think this is the solution. I think we're about to get this star. So, let's do it. Okay. And then we come over here. And Where was it? How did we do it? Was it around the corner? Yeah, it was over here, right? Yeah, because we could we could jump to there. And then there. And then there. Okay, and now we're in. Okay, so now we just pop this on the... Space. And there we go. There's the last star. Alright. Cool. Okay, so that's all the standard stuff. That's all the AIs and all the stars. What we don't know yet is how to use this. We don't have. We don't know where the Stargate is. We're not sure how to get these gray sigils. Uh, so let's head back. I only have one lead at the moment, and that's the green hat. But I'm wondering if we head back now and look around. Maybe there's something that will be available to us. Something. Maybe something will open up for us. Um, and we can, we can take a look at a few more threads, possibly. But let's see, is it, was it always this dark here? Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, the light is fading. It is darker here because the light is fading and the storm is arriving. Oh, this is so cool though, looking at all these guys. <laughs> yeah. 
So who have we got? We got Mr. Mulsimer. We got Borg. We got Spider. Orc. Lilith. The Blacksmith. 401. Asmodeus. Mac. Dog and Rockwell. And then at the back here, we have Knave. Frankenstein. Sam. Kaiju. Belial. And Garrett. Okay. Let me check this door again. Because Admin's down here, right? All right, so we don't have the sigils of power. And I st I don't know how we're supposed to get over to these islands that I think probably have them in them. So like if we man, it's it's, it's like dark and annoying here. If we look over there, we can see there's a fan to get back. But there's no like there's no fan to get over there. I guess we hit up the the terminal real quick. Okay. Nope. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. No, 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 no. Cancel. Oh, I hit the wrong... I hit the wrong button. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Suspending active process done. Collecting additional data done. Analyzing logic performance failed. Receiving Elohim override command done. Child program independence check passed. Saving 18 child parameters for Soma Talos Gold Disk done. Warning. Low bandwidth. User URL copy will be excluded from the upload. Warning. Child program admin version 7.22.7563 absent from Gold Disk. Continue anyway. This operation cannot be reversed. You will be left behind. No. Let's, let's back out for a moment. Okay. All right. Wow. I almost screwed myself there. So I, I just automatically hit the first button, and <laughs> that was a mistake. All right, let's show the threads here. Um, okay, so I know there's, like, a lot of noise from the... from the. All right, you know what? Let's do this. I think I need to go back to area one here. Anyway, so let's go read the threads somewhere a little bit quieter. I'm pretty sure the green hat was here. And it seems like, like, maybe it's just an Easter egg, but I don't have anything else to work with. Um, and I'm not sure how to get over to... I'm not sure how to get over to the islands in the hub area. So where was the little green hat? That was in here, I think? The swapper? No, it wasn't in here. It was, it was right in here, right? Yeah, okay, so the green hat is here. I mean, tell me that's not a leprechaun hat. So I gotta find, I mean, I guess I can extricate it, but I gotta find, like, a monkey to put it on or something. I guess I can carry it around? Like, like, I can't interact with this statue, but there's a billion monkeys, so... I guess what I want to do is just, like, search every... What the hell is that? I want to search every nook and cranny? What is this? It's a, it's a little, little hand in a green suit. What is going on here? So we've got, I guess, I guess these must be connected somehow. Maybe if I find all the pieces, I can build a little statue? So we found another one right here. I was going to say, I have to look for every nook and cranny to find a green monkey to put the hat on. But maybe I have to look in every nook and cranny to find all the pieces of, of a leprechaun. Maybe he'll grant a wish? Maybe this is how we get... Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> what? What? All right. Well, now I have a new mission. Um, okay. I don't want to lose track of these. Where can I put them? I guess just on the path is fine. It's going to be it's going to be hard to miss them there. All right. So we, st we found the hat in there. We found the arm over here. I guess I'm going to look around for more leprechaun pieces. Like, they shouldn't be that hard to spot, I wouldn't think, but it's going to be one of those things where you have to, it's going to, it's going to take some time, right? To kind of like search around and find them all. Because they, they're small and you don't know where they, wait, here's another one. Here's another one. What is this? That's a leg. <laughs> it's a leg. We have a leg. How am I going to like assemble it though? 
Like, maybe if I find a torso, I can, like, y take this and use it on the torso? Oh my god, this is amazing. Suddenly, suddenly, we're a doll collector, all of a sudden. And, alright, I guess we gotta look carefully. Uh, we've got about 10 minutes left in the episode, so let's see if I can find all the pieces of the leprechaun. Hey, there's another! There's- that's... That's- is that the torso? I guess we can move- that's- yeah, that's like... What is that? That's- that's the waistband. That's part of a torso, I think. So we've- we've swept this area and found three pieces. Let's move everything a little bit closer. Can I- I can't connect them. I can't- maybe I need to find pieces that connect directly? Hold on, what was that? Can I- That was weird. There was like a jump- there was like a jump- Oh, yeah, look at this. There's like a little- Oh, I can jump off of it? Alright, that's not- that's not helpful. This is- this is wild, man! This is so wild. Okay, we gotta keep looking. There's gotta be enough pieces to make a full leprechaun, right? <laughs> Does it come to life? Does it come to life and you have to chase it and find its pot of gold? Which is really a pot of gray sigils, maybe? Hey, there's another piece! There's another leg! Alright. Oh man, this is so cool. Uh, is there one in the water, maybe? There could be, right? Like under a lily pad? No. Okay, we came over here, right? Or did we? Yeah, we just found- we just found a piece there. Let's continue around the edge here. You know, for all the exploration I do and like checking out stuff, I'm surprised I didn't find more pieces. I only found the green hat until I really started and then I stumbled over the arm looking for the monkey. I could have just, I mean, for all I know, I've walked past them a bunch of times and they've been on screen and you've been screaming at me, look, look at what's there. Yeah, this one's hard to see. Here's another arm. So we got two arms, two legs, a t like part of a torso, and a hat. How am I going to know when I have all the pieces, though? And where- how do I- how do I put them together? So far, it doesn't feel like I have pieces that would connect, but... I might have to go mess around with it. Right, we found one in the shade here. This is so cool. <laughs> so ridiculous, too. Uh, so we'll go check that area out in a minute. Let's try and, like, wrap up here first. Alright, leprechaun pieces. Body parts. Give me some body parts. Hey, we found his head! We found his head. Alright, so the head and the hat should go together, right? Like, if I pick up the hat and drop it on the head? It doesn't do anything. Like, they don't- they don't seem to work together. Maybe if I find the right... Alright, well, let's find all the pieces first. I need to keep track of which parts of the level geometry I've actually looked at. So I need to be methodical, because otherwise I'll miss a piece. And we'll have to go back and do this again. What is that? That's not leprechaun stuff. That's just green. That's like moss or something. Okay. What else we got? Come on, there's got to be more pieces. I need more torso. I need, like, neck, shoulders... And like, butt. I need a butt. I don't have a lep- I need a leprechaun butt, you guys. I'm missing a leprechaun butt. Yeah, I would have seen it up here, because the green would like, stand out, right? So it shouldn't be on the stone, probably. Uh, maybe I put the pieces, like, in the teleporter? Like, what happens if I drop this here? I can't- I can't drop it directly into the teleporter. Alright. So yeah, we've got two arms, two legs, a belly, a head, and a hat. Oh man, this is this is ridiculous. All right, there may be more pieces over here. Let's go take a look. I don't think there's pieces in puzzles, although actually we did prove before because we took the hat into a puzzle and used it to depress a switch. So there could be puzzle, there could be leprechaun pieces in in the puzzles you know what else there could be a leprechaun on every area or some other like mythical creature that you have to construct 
So I'm, I, I almost entirely missed the one here in area one. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be anything else outside of the puzzles. Now I might've missed a piece or two. But maybe we have to go, now what is this? This looks promising. Hold on. Let me take a leg over here. Use. Okay, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Use. Use. Okay, I might need to connect more first. Like, let's put this on. No. So interestingly, the, the leg is locked. I can't interact with it. And I do see use here, but he doesn't do anything with it. So I must be missing a part, a body part. That doesn't work. Uh, all right. I don't want to have to recollect these, so... This episode might run a little long as I try to reconstruct this leprechaun guy. All right, we've brought all the pieces over here. Like, use is not working. It's like, it's not the right piece, I guess. All right. So, at this point, I think we have to go searching inside the puzzles because... I've done a pretty thorough sweep, unless it's like up on the walls or something. Like a piece that we're missing. I don't know. Let me go look around inside the puzzles, see if I can find a leprechaun body part, as gruesome as that sounds, uh, in here somewhere to bring out. Let's see. I'm going to check the edges first, I think. It might be out there and I just missed it, or it could be in, in here or in one of the other three puzzles. Because there's four puzzles, right? It's a huge, it's a huge area. But I feel like it would be like in corners somewhere you wouldn't be likely to go, so it's easy to overlook and miss. Or I guess it could be somewhere in here in the cell. Because then you have to solve the puzzles to get the pieces. So if they left it in the cell somewhere, that would be one way to kind of hide it from you until you've proved your worth. I don't see it here. It's a pretty big puzzle. It's a big area. So I'll do what I can. Hold on. Maybe back behind here? No. Man, I need to, I need to see this. I need to see what this is. Could it be out there and I somehow missed it? Or do we think, do we think there's a good chance that it's inside the puzzle? I don't want to spend time resolving this if I don't have to. So before we go to that extreme, let's go check the other puzzles. Let's see if we can find a piece in the, like, easily accessible parts, right? Or I could have missed something out here somehow. It could be that, that there's, like, one more piece out here that I've missed. Uh, yeah, here we go, here we go. This is part of his torso. All right, hold on. Maybe this is what I was missing. Let's try using that. Okay, that, that we can use. And now I think we can connect the second leg. Yep, okay, he's doing a jig. There's the... <laughs> okay. Do we just pop his head on now? No. What about the arms? Okay, we're missing another part of his torso. The, the like, the chest. We're missing the upper chest. And I don't think it's in a puzzle anymore. I think I've just missed it out here somehow. Like, they're very well camouflaged, little little bits and pieces. Oh man, we're so close. I need one more body part, he said, hoping the FBI weren't listening. Um, man. I did not start this episode thinking I'd be doing build a, build a leprechaun. 
That does that is not what I thought was gonna happen. And where's this last piece? Come on now. It's like a little chunk of body somewhere. Come on, man. We gotta find it. Where's the chest? Where's the chest? I'm like every teen boy in the world. I want to touch the chest. Come on now. And some teen girls. And not every teen boy. All right, well, I don't need to get into sexual politics here. Let me just focus on... Where's this damn piece? I gotta find it. We're so close. I think there's only one piece left. I think if we find the chest, we can pop the rest on. But at the moment... Yeah, at the moment, I'm having trouble. I don't know where it is. Let's see. Let's check all the sh shadowy corners and all the plants. It's got to be here somewhere. Like, in inside the plants, maybe? There's one little chunk that we're missing, I think. I just don't have any idea where it is. Come on now. Come on now, the episode's running long. It's already at, it's already past 45 minutes. Come on, RNG gods, come on. Gods of luck and video games and streamers and YouTubers. Help me out here. Direct me. Guide my hand, guide my mouse. Guide my mouse to the solution. Where is this last piece? You guys, this has got to be super entertaining watching me fumble around. There it is! We found it! Nice! Okay. Woo! Alright. There's the body. Let's pop on some arms. How about a head? And a hat! Okay. Something happened. The wind stopped and thunder rumbled from above. What was the point of this? Why did I build this? What the WTF? I guess we'll find out next time. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of uh, Road to Gehenna. What a fantastic, I mean, what a weird, fantastic Easter egg. I don't even know if this is related to our quest, but we found it. We found all the pieces. I mean, maybe that unlocks the way to the gray sigils. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back to the overworld and we'll find something out, but uh, you'll have to wait till next time to learn the truth. Uh, that's going to be it for this time. Thank you again, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.